Yes, we saw some heavy rain, a little bit of lightning and thunder, thunder earlier, and you spotted this. Yeah, you know, this was with a strong thunderstorm that moved across Hamilton County right before the sun went down. So over here ahead of you is the actual thunderstorm and the rain itself. And we always say if you're looking for something rotating, in this case, a tornado or anything of that nature, it's usually on the backside of the storm. So this is actually the backside of the storm, and this was actually rotating. And if you look closely here, you can clearly see some of these cloud elements rotating as well as this past basically the studio is here in Mount Arbor and this is Mount Arbor and this is basically looking northeast up Interstate 71. So this would be in the direction of Norwood on over towards Hyde Park. Of course, obviously that's some of the condominiums there near Eden Park. So you're off in the distance looking off towards the northeast. But this entire structure here was rotating as it moved across Hamilton County. Fortunately, it didn't tighten up enough to actually produce a tornado. And again, I think today was another one of those days where we lucked out by the fact of having rain in the middle of the day. It's something about getting rain in the middle of the day that really keeps down the instability overall. And that has saved us again a number of times from late spring now into early summer from seeing more robust and stronger, more significant severe weather around here. So Fortunately, that's behind us now. We look ahead and face tomorrow's threat for storms in the afternoon and evening as it's going to stay very humid around here. Here's a look at radar. Most of the rain is out of here. Most of it is to the east of us. There's still a few downpours, but we've cleared out around the metro, although it is extremely humid outside tonight. You can see a few more downpours out towards Mount Orb, then back over towards Augusta and Ripley. These will scoot through parts of Brown into Adams County. Maybe a shower down there too may clip you out towards Maysville. You're drying up now and worn in Clinton counties where you had rain earlier this evening. I don't really expect much more wet weather overnight tonight once these downpours get out of here. Temperatures right now we are holding in the mid 70s. I don't think we drop a tremendous amount tonight because of the high levels of humidity that's currently in the air. So Let's walk ourselves forward in time now, show you tomorrow. Here's the action right now. Watch how this fades away overnight tonight. I guess we could have some, you know, low clouds or fog, patchy fog, try to develop tonight. Either way, that will get out of here, and this is what we need to keep an eye on. We'll see if this happens again. Wants to suggest that we'll see some mid-afternoon rain, let's say late morning, noonish, early afternoon. And if this happens, as we're seeing it here again, while it will bring us more wet weather tomorrow, may help to tamper down and keep the threat for severe weather because we've actually got a pretty healthy cold front coming through for at least July standards anyways this time tomorrow afternoon and evening. So we'll need to watch out for the potential for maybe another round of scattered strong, maybe severe storms. I think the threat as great as the farther east you are across the area. It's 77 right now, so through the rest of the night, temperatures will slowly settle their way back into the low 70s for us. So overnight, humid, 72 as the rain fades away. And then for tomorrow, we're up to 87. It's another weather impact day with more rain and storms, keeping it pretty humid around here. And I am, I probably should add another thunderstorm icon even into the evening tomorrow, as I think we'll have the threat even after sunset. Seven day forecast, Mike and Sheree, much better weather this weekend, including Saturday for the Reds and FC Cincinnati.